Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to start working on this new like notification. So inside a util server folder, I'm going to create a new file, notification actions. And inside this file, we are going to need the notification model and the user model. So let's import these. Now inside here, first of all, I'm going to create a function const set notification 200 and we're going to receive the user ID inside this and it is going to be an async function and inside here, inside try catch block, if there is any error, I'm just going to log the error. You can handle error any way you want. So here we're going to look for the user await user model dot find by id the user id and here we're going to check if not user dot 100 notification so if 100 notification is equals to false we're going to set it to true so user dot 100 notification is equals to true and we're going to save the user and after this just return so inside the user model you can see right here we have the 100 notification property and it is a boolean by default it is false so in this function we are going to set it to true and now i'm going to create a function here const new like notification again an async function and inside this function we are going to receive the user id the logged in users id the post id so the post which is liked by the user and user to notify id so the user whom we are going to notify that his post has been liked. And again inside try catch, again I'm just going to log the error. And here we are going to first of all find the user who we are going to notify. So const user to notify. Await notification model dot find one. And we are going to look for the user with this user to notify ID. So after this, we are going to add the notification inside the notifications array. So const new notification. So if I go to the notification model, we have this object right here, which we are going to pass inside the notifications array. So first of all, we have the type. We are going to set it to new like. So this is a new like notification. So type is equals to new like inside strings. And after this, we have the user post. And we do not need the comment ID and text here. This is these fields are going, only going to be used in the comments and we have the date. So for the user, we have the user ID. Again, this user right here is basically the from whom the, this notification is. So if I like your post, this user is going to be my ID. And after this, we have the post. It is going to be the post ID. And then we have the date dot now so this is the new notification which we are going to have and we are going to pass it inside the notifications array so wait user to notify dot notifications dot unshift and now we are going to pass it new notification and we are going to save the user so user to notify dot save and after we have saved the user we are going to call the set notification 200 function and the user ID here is going to be user to notify ID. And again, we're just going to return from here. And this is all for this new like notification. Now for removing the like, const remove like notification. And inside this function again, we are going to receive the user ID, the post ID and the user to notify ID. And here inside try catch, again, if there is any error, just log the error. And inside the try block, first of all, we are going to look for the user. So const user await notification model dot find one user and user to notify ID. So we are going to remove the notification of the liked post from this user's notification model. So first of all, we are going to find the notification. So const notification to remove 
user dot notifications dot find and notification notification dot type is equals to new like and notification dot post dot to string is equals to post id let's save and we are going to have another condition and notification dot user dot to string is equals to user id so we are looking for the notification inside the notifications array whose type is new like and whose post id is equals to this post id which we are going to pass inside this function and the user id is equals to this user's id which we are going to pass so we are looking for the notification whose type is new like and whose post id is equals to the post id this post id right here inside the parameters and the user id is equals to this user's id right here also i've added the two string here because inside the model we have this object id these are not strings so this will return us the notification and now we are going to find its index so const index of user dot notifications dot map notification and here notification dot underscore id dot to string dot index of and notification to remove dot underscore id dot to string and make sure to add the two strings because the ids are object ids so this will return us the index we are going to splice it out so wait user dot notifications dot splice the start number is going to be this index and we're going to remove one item and then we're going to save the user so wait user dot save so this is all we have to do for removing the like notification and now i'm going to export these functions so module dot exports and new like notification and remove like notification and we are using the module dot exports because these are going to be used inside node environment and now inside our api folder we have the posts and now let's import these functions so require util server and our notification actions new like notification and remove like notification so on the route where we are lagging the post after we are saving the post here we are going to check if post dot user dot to string not equals to user id we are going to call this function new like notification and the user id is going to be right here from a middleware post id we are getting it inside the params so post id and the user to notify id is going to be post dot user dot to string so we checked for this if post dot user dot to string not equals to user id so this basically means that if you are liking your own post we are not going to send a notification to ourselves so this will check for that and then we are going to call this function and now inside our unlike a post after we are saving the post again we are going to check let's just copy it from here we will change the function and here we are going to call remove like notification and the user id again inside our middleware post id we are getting it inside the params and user to notify id again post dot user dot to string so this is all we had to do for adding and removing the notification of liking a post in the next video we're going to work on adding notifications for comments so i will see you there